Hi, just wanted to show you a really quick example of what scheduling a complex interview looks like between success factors and good time. Here I have my candidate Meredith Gray applying to this project manager type role in success factors. You have an option to click on Open in Good Time, which will launch your candidate along with information about the requisition directly to the Good Time dashboard. Here we have Meredith's name, her email address, and three action buttons to proceed. Queuing is really great for a recruiter coordinator handoff. Request availability allows us to send a link to the candidate where they can submit availability based on the availability of the interviewers. And schedule now is great for a situation where you already know the availability of the candidate and you just want to plug and chug the dates and times that they've specified into the system. We're going to use request availability today. And as you can see, we've got the role along with the stage coming directly into good time. We have a priority label, so you can specify for a particular candidates if they are high priority or VIP. It just adds a little marker to their name once they're in your dashboard. Scrolling down, we see an example of an interview template. So you're able to create different templates to mirror who needs to be involved in this interview process based on the stage that you're in or even just based on the role. In this case, Meredith is going to have three back-to-back -back events with different interviewers involved. We have Lucas or Savio, so a substitute type of relationship. We have a tagged group, which means that we've got lots of interviewers um, that have been assigned with this culture fit tag. So Good Time will choose one based on availability and based on load balancing. And then we have um, something that's kind of like a normal panel that you would have. Um, Meredith is going to be meeting for one hour with Teo and Mo. We have an availability window, which will let you know up front if you've got available time for the candidate to meet with the group of interviewers above. So taking into account their business hours, their time zones, um, when they normally work, as you can see, the weekends are blocked out because these interviewers only work Monday through Friday. And this available time will be provided to the candidate to choose from when booking this interview. We'll hit continue, and here's where we see the communication that's going out to our candidates, just really helping to help standardize the messaging that's going to people. Scrolling down, we see our interviewer event description. So your interviewers actually receive a different calendar invitation than your candidates do, so you can be more specific for them. Below, we see our interview schedule along with some different options. So there is a require review before confirming schedule. If you as the recruiter or coordinator just kind of want to look at what the candidate has selected before sending out those final itineraries. We also have the option to allow the candidates to suggest times and the option to make this interview private. We'll go ahead and click on request availability. You see this interview has been created and we will hop into Meredith's inbox to take a look at what she's received. This entire page is customizable. We're also tracking if this email was delivered, if the candidate has opened it, and if they've opened and they haven't responded, we can also send out automated reminders to the candidates to get them to provide some availability in an automated fashion. The candidate sees this portal, which can be completely branded based on your needs. We'll click on Get Started, and we see all of these days that we can choose from. We have a time zone represented. Good Time picks up on the IP address of the candidate to populate these times, this time zone, so they will always see options based on um, the location that they are currently in. We just choose a day and we can see these three slots for the candidate to choose from for their interview. Let's say this candidate is free um, Monday afternoon. We'll click on confirm and what we will see is with the require review turned off, Good Time is going to auto confirm to the first option that the candidate selects, which is this Monday at 1 p.m. slot. In this case, I only selected one option, so it's automatically defaulting to the option that I chose.
If we hop back into Meredith's inbox, we see that she's automatically received her calendar invitation. She knows who the interviewers are that she's going to be meeting with, and we provide a link to the event confirmation in case the candidate needs to reschedule. If we hop into Meredith's um, calendar, we can see that we've received that same information as a calendar entry directly. And if we wanted to see how it looks like on our interviewers calendars, here I'm back in Mo the Recruiter's calendar, and I'm just going to open one of these entries. This is the one that Lucas has received. Um, we can see that our interviewers are all going to get the entire itinerary so they know what's happening. They've got information about the candidate. You can provide a link to um, the success factors page. You can add in um, a link to the candidate's resume if you you want all of this information can be synced in depending on what you would like your interviewers to be able to view. If we hop back into success factors, I'm just going to do a really quick refresh here on this page and go back into Meredith's profile. You can see that our interviews are now showing up in success factors along with the dates and the times for the interview, making this a really nice, quick, cohesive process where your candidates receive the information that they need. So do your interviewers and so does anyone who comes back into success factors to see what's happening with this candidate. It. I really hope this assists you with evaluating your success factors and good time integration.